Hello everyone and welcome back to Equinox where we have just bred our very first sparrow. Oh my gosh, I really hope we can make it happy. Okay, it, it likes something specific. It likes trees and it likes grasslands, forests, and woodlands. So let's hurry and trans- Oh, I can't transplant this little one. Oh my gosh, panic, panic. We've got- Oh my gosh, we have a, a little itty bitty chicken named Pirate. That is adorable. But hang in there little sparrow. Don't die, don't die. You just need to last a little bit longer and I will transplant you because you are a brand new little sparrow. But it likes forest and it likes woodland, so we're gonna take it over here, right next to the roses and the boars. And hopefully, oh, now it's happy. Look at that. And now we have our very first little sparrow. It is dashing down this hill so that it can have something to eat. I think it's coming straight for this buttercup, maybe? Perhaps? Whatever it's looking for, it seems quite content. And with the addition of our very first bird, it should start making nest. And we are going to be working on the bird in the hand, fully built nest. Have a fully built and filled nest of eggs in the world. And that will unlock the jungle grass. Oh, that's so exciting. I am so, so excited about that. This is gonna be really amazing. I kind of want to just follow this sparrow around today and see what it does. Um, but let's see how much it would actually cost to get another sparrow now that I'm thinking about it. Because we probably need more than one. Oh yes, it's only 10,000. Yes, I probably did not need to spend so much DP to move this sparrow, but it was our very first little one and so it's very special. But this is a small forest bird. The sparrow flies around and occasionally lands on branches of nearby trees. Sparrows build nests and lay eggs in the nest in order to reproduce. The bird has no trouble living in almost any part of the world as long as trees are available. That is so cute and it requires a nest or did- Oh! It flew! It flew! It took flight! We are gonna have- Oh my gosh! Did you see that? That was the best! I can bird watch an equinox now! That's the best! Did you see that? It just took off! I don't think that this little one is going to like stay in one place. I think it's gonna be a traveling sparrow. Look, it's off! It's flying again! This is so beautiful! Look at it go! Oh my gosh, it really isn't going to be limited to pretty much any area. It's just sticking to where there's trees and that's a whole big zone. Wow. Wow. Are you going to make a nest? This is amazing. I am so happy. I am so happy. Let's get more sparrows. I want more sparrows like stat. A whole bunch of them. All right, what do you guys think about this? I bet you can spread out do you even have, like, a, they have, like, there's going to be so many sparrows everywhere. This is going to be amazing. Uh, all right, let's see. I'm going to speed things up for just a minute. And I wonder, our roses are still over here. But I want to see what happens when we have a whole bunch of birds flying through the air. Oh, and now I'm out of trees over here. Huh. I kind of want to make sure that we have plenty of trees. No requirement. Uh, uh, trees? Hello? I want this to remain kind of like a woodland, I think, or like a thick forest. So let me go ahead and put in maybe a sycamore tree, maybe a cedar tree. What's a nice tree to put? Spreads forest biome cedar tree. That might be nice. And now we've got bird song. I don't think we had bird song before. And I just realized it's now <gasps> a nest, a nest, a nest, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Right next to our bouncing baby boars, here in this- No, elm tree, don't you die! It is the sixth generation elm tree on the last moments of its life. Oh my goodness, we should probably try to get some ash trees. There's a nest right here. It, it, the nest is still- it still has a little bit to go. Oh my gosh, look, you can see the bird inside. <gasps> wow. Hang in there, tree. Please, please hang in there. The nest has been, yes, the nest has been built. I am so happy, but also so sad because that tree is about to die and I think we're about to lose the nest. But we have now completed the bird in the hand, which has unlocked jungle grass and in the jungle. Boom. Oh my goodness. <gasps> No! Their first nest! Oh, that's so sad. 
Hopefully they can build a new one in another elm tree. Let's add in a couple more elm trees because that, that kind of bums me out a little bit. Uh, what was coming over here? Oh, an apple tree was moving in. And for the elm tree, I want... Is this like 80% woodland? Where's a really thick woodland so we can just have an ash tree started? This is all forest. This is 60% woodland. Oh, I made this like a solid woodland. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, uh, we'll go ahead and start evolving an ash tree over here. And I guess I can put in some sparrows down here as well. We'll put in three sparrows because they should be perfectly happy pretty much anywhere in the world. Look at that. And oh my gosh, you can see the birds flying in the sky now. Okay, I want to get these little baby sparrows grown and in the air. I think I saw one. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, we have an ash tree already. What? Are you happy here? Where do you want to be? Tell me. You want to be between 20 and 60 meters. And you like large rocks and flowers. Got it. Okay, 20 to 60. Oh my gosh, I cannot replant that. <laughs> uh, ash tree, ash tree, ash tree. Jungle grass! Oh, we are so spreading a jungle in a second. But uh, let's see. Okay, ash tree, 20 and 60 meters, was it? I'm sorry, you're going to be really sad. Uh, let's see. So... This it has bark percentage. Can we get beavers? Because that would be amazing. So it cares about grassland, forest, and woodland, and it wants to be between 20 and 60 meters. Look at our birds. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, 20 and 60 meters. Really? Okay, so kind of like up here then. All right, let's grab that ash tree. What about here? And then let's go ahead and put down... What am I trying to spread over here? Mostly forest. But a little bit of woodland's fine. Uh, spread biome. Let's spread a little bit of woodland. No, no, no. I want to spread woodland. There we go. All right, that'd be like an elm tree over here, and some oregano over here. There we go. Is the ash tree happy? The ash tree is happy. All right, and the ash tree is just a content little thing, so we'll leave that be. But look at the birds go! Oh, oh, there's another nest! There's another nest right over here! Oh, this is beautiful! Look at this! And they're just landing to and fro. Oh, this is amazing! There's so many eggs. Are we gonna have lots and lots of sparrows? Speaking of which, what can we evolve these little ones into? Hold still for a second, my dear. A toucan and a dove. Oh my gosh, if we make them white, <gasps> we can change the color of our sparrows. We can make white and gold sparrows and bluebirds. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm happy. I love birds so much. So this is just thrilling me. And then add into the fact that we are now to the point where the birds will kind of spread anywhere. So I want to I want to get them spreading anywhere. We have the little guinea pigs. I still need to work on getting some of these guinea pigs uh, turned into squirrels too. That's another goal I need to have. Where do I even begin? Well, because we have so many birds and we're kind of focusing on woodland today. Look, there's another nest. There's another nest. This is so cool. Wow. And having more birds means more discovery points because they are clearly breeding very quickly. I am very, very happy about that. Uh, but we should put down something for a jungle. Maybe we'll do that next time. And right now let's focus on trying to get some squirrels. Because uh, we have been... Oh, look at the bird in the tree. That's so cool. We have been really struggling to make a nut tree for a long time. I cannot even remember... Oh, the sycamores! That's right! So the sycamores need snapdragons near them and a woodland. That's why we made this woodland. I remember now. And then we needed to evolve... What was it? Or we needed to uh, genetically modify buttercups in order to make snapdragons. And that means we need to have some guinea pigs and we need to make the buttercups purple on it. Okay, so we need some young buttercups. Whoops, well, all of them are like dying off, so that's not helping. Uh, oh, their health is going down. From, no, the environment's okay. Hmm. I think we may have a little bit of encroaching other things, but let's come over. To get the snapdragon, we need purple buttercups. 
I think I made purple buttercups at some point. Oh, this is so expensive. Probably not if it's that expensive. Uh, and I think I should transplant a guinea pig or two. That's a stone, not a guinea pig. <laughs> Curly is about to pass away, but Banjo, how much does it cost just to pick up a guinea pig? Okay, we can actually get two guinea pigs cheaper, but since we're trying to make squirrels and the guinea pigs do need to eat, so there are some tomatoes over here that they could eat. And then what about, would a berry bush be happy over here so we can try to get squirrels? I imagine a berry bush would be happy pretty much anywhere. Forest and woodland. Well, this is definitely a woodland. I was trying to make it like a really, really strong woodland. So I think the berry bushes should be happy there. Let's speed things up for a minute. The eggs are hatching for our little sparrows. This is amazing. I want to keep going, keep going, keep going. A little more, a little more. All right, berry bushes. One. Look at all the baby sparrows on the ground. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I am so happy about that. Wow, we might get blueberry bushes in the future uh, once we get bees, which we haven't even heard about bees yet, so it might be a minute. All right, let's let the night pass. We'll keep an eye. Oh, there's the purple buttercups. Yes. All right, the apple a day reward. I still feel like I don't have enough apple trees because they do so well to help us out. What altitude do they prefer? Let me double check. They really don't seem to care. <laughs> Thank goodness. Maybe I'm gonna, we should make more apple trees over here. And if I was gonna spread anything, I wonder what a deer would go into. Let's see, lives in forest, fox, bees, <gasps> beavers, there are beavers. I want a beaver dam over here. Okay, that, that seals the deal. We're going to spread a forest this direction. So let's see if the heather will happily spread for me. And then let's get some cedar trees. We probably want things with bark percentage maybe. Uh, let, let's get more cedar trees like over here too. Are you happy there? Or are you gonna fuss at me? Oh, it's like, I am so miserable right now. I'm just gonna die, it says. Why? Below 20. Oof. All right, so I don't think you're gonna, you're, you're gonna be miserable and you're gonna die. That was a mistake. Um, what about down here? Is this one? Yeah, this one's fine. So cedar trees down there are fine. Tall trees, below 75. So tall trees would be fine up here. They would spread up there like nobody's business. Uh, and with them, we can put in apple trees. So I can continue to have the apples spread, which is very important if you ask me. Do the ferns help spread the forest? They do. All right, ferns, you're gonna help out too. And then let's get a couple more apple trees to help out as well. Look at how much DP we're getting per minute now. This is wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy. All right. Apple tree, apple tree, apple tree. All right, you three help out. The more apples we have, the happier the world is. <gasps> sparrows, there's so many little sparrows. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at that. Wow. Okay, and now let's grab some of the guinea pigs that we have been oh so carefully breeding to try to make them look kind of like squirrels. <laughs> And we'll plunk it down over here. And then we'll come over here and we'll grab one of the younger Heathers. Let's see. And we'll plunk it down over here. Air Buttercups, excuse me. All right, stay there, Buttercup. And then I'm gonna get a couple more of the guinea pigs. Oh, they're so expensive to transplant. But if we're gonna go ahead and have that color guinea pig anyway, might as well just stick to it for the squirrels. All right, there we go. Now, you have three small herbivores near you, I promise. Now we need to save up 6,000 DP, and as long as the guinea pigs stay in the area, boom, all right guys, there we go, and with the birds coming in, and the guinea pigs chirping, and the birds coming down, oh my gosh, and they're laying eggs, and the guinea pigs are so happy. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, I wanna spread more woodland up along here. 
this is this is just getting so exciting, isn't it? All right, woodland, 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 woodland. Let's spread it along here. Come on, come on, little buttercups. And then let's get some sycamore trees to help out because they're clearly doing a great job. There we go. And now, oh, did my buttercup die? Okay, quick, snapdragon, go. And now we are going to continue to try to evolve for the snapdragons. If only the guinea pigs would stay close enough. So that may prove to be a little bit tricky. I might need to go ahead and keep trying to remove a few of these buttercups so that we can try to have some of the purple buttercups come and move in. So we might have to do a little bit of finagling but I think it can be done. And we have also got more apple trees planted so we can try to keep those apples going. Oh, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. So all right, guys, if you would like to count some of these bird eggs with me, do please leave a like and consider subscribing and I will see you back here for more adventures next time. Bye-bye.